our Gregory home. My name is Chelsea. Today I have five tips on how to hang a picture gallery wall in your house. Hanging a picture gallery wall is a little bit intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit intimidated by it as well. So I really hope that my five tips will help you guys hang your picture gallery wall in your house whenever the time comes. So let's go ahead and get started on my five tips. The first tip, or number one, is you wanna visualize your space. For me, really imagining the space with the pictures helps me decide what frames to buy and how big to buy them. If you're having trouble trying to visualize what it will look like, hop on your computer or phone and browse Pinterest. They have hundreds of amazing photos of gallery walls. The second tip is to match your frames. Picking frames can sometimes be challenging because there are so many choices out there, but I recommend finding big frames with a smaller mat on the inside for a big visual impact. I found these frames at my local Walmart. They're 11 by 14 with an eight by 10 mat and they were only $8 each. Tip number three, by using masking tape or painter's tape, you can space out your frames evenly. You're gonna to wanna to start by measuring your space and making sure you mark the middle. I'm using a chalk marker. This way it is easily erasable, but of course you can use a pencil as well. Next, you're gonna to wanna to use a level, and when you have the level up on the wall, you're going to wanna to put it directly where you marked the middle of the wall. Make sure it's level, and then just mark a straight line from the top all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna to wanna to do this all the way down the space where your frames are gonna be. Now, once you have your straight line, you're gonna take your tape, and you're gonna tape along that line from the top all the way down to the bottom. Now you have a straight line of tape. Now, before we start hanging pictures, I have another hack for you guys. It is number four, and you're gonna wanna use string or wire, and you're gonna tie it on the back of the picture frame so you can have one hanging spot. Instead of trying to measure and get two different spots to put a nail, you're only gonna use one. So now that we have that all done, what I'm doing is measuring a foot down from the ceiling and then six inches from my tape line. Now this is gonna change depending on the spacing of your picture frame. So tip number five is to use a thumbtack temporarily. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put a thumbtack in and hang your pictures. Now the thumbtack is really great because it makes a teeny tiny little hole, not as big as a nail, and you don't have to use a hammer, obviously, you just use your thumb, and you stick that in the wall, hang your pictures up, make sure everything looks good, and then you go back and use a nail and nail in your pictures. So you can see here, I am just adding that another tape line underneath the pictures for evenly spaced, and then I'm just adding those thumbtacks and my pictures right on top. Same thing underneath that, adding another piece of tape, and then adding, well, measuring of course, and then adding the thumbtacks. So you can see here, I measured six inches away from the tape, and then about two inches down. So now that everything is up on the wall, you're gonna to wanna to take a step back, make sure everything looks okay, make sure everything looks evenly spaced. It should look pretty good if you measured, and the tape definitely helps with that as well. So now once that is looking good, we're just gonna remove the tape, and you have a beautiful line. So once everything looks good, we're just gonna take our frames down and we're gonna be using some picture hanging nails that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna be hammering those nails in directly where I took the thumbtacks out. And then of course, hanging the pictures back up and you might notice that they are a little crooked, but I do have a bonus tip for you guys. And that is using mounting tape to secure the pictures to the wall. So I did pick up this mounting tape from the Dollar Tree as well, and you're gonna wanna use a little level. So what you do is you just stick that mounting tape to the bottom two corners of each picture. Don't take the back piece off of the mounting tape quite yet. So 
So you can see everything is still pretty crooked, but that is why we have a level. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw that level on top, make sure it's level, and then you just remove the back pieces of that mounting tape and push firmly on the picture and your picture is gonna stick real good. Now I did this because my kids like to run through the hallway right here and I was afraid that they were going to knock the pictures down. However, this also just keeps the pictures secure, you know, if you have earthquakes or anything like that. So here's what it looks like. I think it turned out so cute. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. We would love to have you join our Gregory home. Remember to always be creative, be unique, but most importantly, be yourself, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.